What's up Retro fans, it's Retro Rabbi, and today we're diving into a game from my early childhood. Chances are, if you're a fellow 90s kid, you might have fond memories of this incredibly popular computer game back in the day. Thinking Things Collection 1, an educational video game developed by the Edmark Corporation, debuted on both Windows and Mac platforms in the 1990s. Comprising six mini-games, it offers variety of educational experiences, so without delay, let's dive right in. For our first stop, we will be going into the Frip Pull Shop. It's an interactive feature aimed at instructing users on patterns and logical thinking through manipulation of the fripples, focusing on their colors and body parts. The use of stereotypical customers is accurate as well. In the past, there was little concern about such content being included in a computer game. Jolly good day. I'm in the market for fribbles. I have been looking all over the city for these fribbles. Fribbles to go store. Hey there. Whoa, fribbles to go. I'm like yellow and curly hair, but not sunglasses. Please. The Chicken Factory, also referred to as Fettered Friends, is another cool segment. It's designed to educate users on pattern recognition by tasking them with creating patterns using chickens. There are two settings available, Creativity and Questions. In the Creativity mode, it functions as a free mode where users can explore without constraints. While the questions mode presents challenges requiring users to correctly assemble the chicken. Oranga Banga is an activity centered around teaching music through the interaction with the character from the title. If you have a knack for music and enjoy experimenting with various instruments, this mini game is an excellent choice for you. Again, two settings are at your disposal, creativity and questions. In creativity mode, users have the freedom to explore without limitations. While in questions mode, challenges arise when users must accurately replicate instruments played by Oranga Banga. Can you play that? An additional challenge is available when players can opt to turn off the lights, rendering Oranga's actions invisible. It's then up to your listening skills to determine which instrument he's playing. When the lights come back on, it's your turn to replicate the sequence. Now you. Try this. Toonie Loon is engaged in the creation of a humorous xylophone in this musical minigame. Similar to a Ranga Banga, but the game focuses solely on the xylophone instrument. The game offers the same settings as Oranga, so no need to repeat explanations of these settings. Another cool feature of this minigame is the variety of xylophones available to choose from. Options include wine glasses, wooden logs, strings, and the most amusing one, chickens. Now you! 
Good work! Flying Shapes allows users to create their own shapes while producing playful sounds. That's essentially all there is to it. Not going to waste your time with this one. <laughs> Flying Spheres lets users design musical murals and control the floating spheres according to their preferences. It offers a lot of great music. I remember as a child how I would play this game just to listen to the music. This is my favorite mini game of them all, and that's why I saved it for the last game on the list. I used to play thinking things all the time in my early childhood. Not just at school, but also at home. Did you play this game if you were a kid from the 90s too? Let me know in the comments. And that is a wrap on today's video, but the fun's not over yet. If you would like to see some non-commentary gameplay videos of thinking things, then please click the playlist on the left. Plus, if you would like to watch the previous episode, you can do so by clicking the video on the right. Until next time, happy retro gaming everyone!